please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And hit the bell for notifications. So good morning everybody, still early. Haven't ate breakfast yet, but the sun's not all the way up, so hope everybody's gonna have a good day. Uh, we got our split system in, or parts of it. This is the indoor part, and there's the outdoor condenser down underneath, and we'll show you that in a minute. And how this hooks up, there's a hole in the floor that goes down behind here, and this will straighten up and go down behind here, and then one end attaches to here, and then the other end attached to the other side of the unit down below. And this, uh, this would get a board up here to cover this up. But this sucks in the air here, and it blows it out here. And, and it is the heat pump, so we're going to be able to get heat off of our solar, and then AC off of our solar too, because it's only a 110 system. Okay, so the amps are 9.5, so that's pretty decent actually. Uh, and, and we're hoping to run most of it off of our solar. So that's the, the big point behind this. So we'll go underneath and uh, take some pictures of that. So our outdoor unit is actually mounted up underneath there. And it's up out of the way so it shouldn't drag on nothing. And it, it's gonna, where I had to put it, it's probably gonna have a 10 to 15% restriction on the airflow. But I don't see that being a problem, and if it is, I could add another fan to it just to help it out. So I'll crawl down there now with the camera and show you underneath. <coughs> so this is a picture of the unit up underneath there. Uh, that's called Unistrut that it's sitting on, and all my ends I'll paint them with the undercoating black stuff. And then it goes all the way up to the frame and bolts in up there with half inch all thread and everything is double nutted double lock washer and then it's actually got the lock tight uh sealing on it too so we'll go look at the other end now but but that's the kind of it up through there and this is the condenser for the other unit that's inside just the ac unit <coughs> This is the other side of it. And if you look, it went kind of all the way up to the top. I put a piece of insole board up there and kind of squished it up against there. That's where the wirings hook up up top. This little box right here. That's where that line set, the two line sets get hooked into. And these are already pre-charged units. So they're already pre-charged for that line set. So I'll do the line set next and uh, we'll get this little part finished up. So these are the line sets that go down underneath to the other unit and they're just a flare fitting. Uh, so this copper's got a flare on it and then you got your flare nut which just tightens up here so that's the way it is on both of them. So you just put them in there, tighten them up. And uh, once they get done in leak testing, I'll put the insulation over them because you do get condensation or sweating off your, your one, your refrigerant line here. So that's why they insulate it so you don't get a lot of condensation and sweat dripping all over the place. So if it's insulated, then it don't condensate and sweat. So I'm gonna go underneath and hook up that one and then we'll show you that later. Okay, there's my two copper hookups on the line set. We're down at the underneath unit. Uh, I just made a big coil in it. You could cut it and reflare it, but these units are already pre-charged for this line set, so it's easier just to coil them up and kind of strap them up. Uh, if you look inside on the bottom one, there's actually an Allen wrench inside there I took the cap off, and that's a valve. So you open that valve up and that lets all the Freon out of this under 
or outdoor unit here up into the to the line set and to the upper coil to charge the whole system. So that's where the shutoffs are for behind those little caps there. So once I purge this out and vacuum it, then we'll open it up and it should be workable. So there's what the underneath looks like. So that's all the line sets or the refrigerant. So that's what the refrigerant wants in. That's a finish on the AC unit. Uh, still got a little electrical on it, but as far as the line sets for the gases and the freon, all that's done. So time's getting short. We gotta go. We'll catch you on the next one. See you later. Bye. Thanks again for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember to hit the bell for notifications.